hey, let's get right into our action words. Now, remember, action words are not for someone else. Who are they for? Me and you, right? Action words are what we need to do. So the first thing we're going to do is love like who? Like Jesus, right? I hope you guys said that super loud. Love like Jesus. Love with your whole heart. Be sacrificial in your loving. Give to others by loving them so well. All right. Love like Jesus. What's the second one? Proclaim like the angels. I think I might have heard you that time. Good job. Like the angels who came out to the shepherds and were just letting everyone know, I bring you good news of great joy that shall be for all people. How exciting that night must have been. All right, what's the next one? Believe like the shepherds. Speaking of shepherds, right? Those shepherds, they knew that they could follow and go straight to see baby Jesus. They believed what the angels told them. They believed in God and they worshiped and knelt down at the baby Jesus. All right, what's our next one? Give. Give like who? Do you guys remember from last week? Wise men, yes. They didn't just bring something. They brought their best. Have you guys given your best this week? Think about it. You know, that's something we could work on every single week, giving our best. I gave you lots of ideas last week, so I hope you did some of them. If not, guess what? There's another week coming up. All right, give to people. Give your best and give to Jesus. All right, and here's our last one. Shine! All right. We haven't talked about this one yet. It's today. We're going to shine like the star. All right, that beautiful, big star, brightest star ever in the sky over the stable, which led people. Remember in our story last week, um, the three wise men said we followed the star, right? Okay, we're going to talk about being shiny today. Are you ready? All right, now, being shiny. Doesn't mean wearing a shiny shirt, wearing your shiniest earrings, wearing your shiniest ring. All right, Isabella just asked me why I had so much bling on. Even I don't wear this much bling, but for you I will. Because I want to tell you, it's not about bling. It's not about shininess here. It's about shininess inside, right? That comes out because we love Jesus. So I got three ways to help you be shiny. Are you ready? All right. One is to love Jesus. Two is to trust Jesus. All right, can we trust him? And three is to share Jesus. All right, I'm gonna give you guys some examples of how to be shiny for my little memory tree. All right, so I hope you guys have built your own memory tree and learned something about your moms and dads and everything, but I figured that, you know, I'll use my kids. They always get used as examples. And so here's one of Isaiah's shiny times. It says, Boy Scouts of America, handbook for boys was when he became an Eagle Scout. Now it's a really big job and some jobs are smaller, some jobs are bigger. He chose a really big one. All right. But he loved God by serving others. He trusted God by, you know, he was in the middle of high school and it was a lot of work, a lot of paperwork, a lot of meetings with people, a lot of training of people, but he trusted God that he could get it done. And then in the end, he shared God by all these younger scouts and their siblings and the families that he brought in. He reached out to all of them and shared God with them by sharing his love, right? And so what he did was had a big concert and they raised over a thousand books for kids. And they got to, those kids that gave, got to see Isaiah take those to National Rescue Mission for Kids and Legacy Mission Village and read to those children. He, they got to see him shine and they learned to shine by doing that. All right, so here's another way. Isabella, I have no speech language pathology Christmas ornaments and I think I need one by December. So if anybody knows of them, let me know. But here's her ballet shoes. And you know what, Bella, she shines so bright when she dances. She is a beautiful dancer. She tells a story. But you know when she shines bright, I think sometimes even more is when she teaches. Because when she's teaching, she is sharing the gifts that God has given her. She loves God by sharing the gifts. She, um, she trusts God by 
adding so many classes into her life, all right? She teaches from four-year-olds all the way up to 40 and 50 year olds. Some adults are taking classes now and she opens her life and makes time to teach all those classes. And when she does teach those classes, she shares God by loving her students. And when a teacher loves their students and a stu the students love their teacher, you're gonna learn so much more. So those are a couple of ways our kids shine. Now, what about you guys? Do you have activities that help you? Because, you know, just sitting on the couch, it's kind of hard to shine. But if you think about what are the things I do? What are the activities I do? How can I shine through these activities? Look this week and see what God has given you. All right. Let's talk about a couple Bible characters first. Are you ready? These three you're going to know. All right. First one, David. How did David shine? All right. First off, he loved God and he said, I'm just going to step up. Nobody else is stepping up, right? And so he stepped up. He went out to fight Goliath. Then he trusted God because remember Saul was giving him all that armor and thought, well, that will be great. He'll, he'll just have my armor and that'll help him out. And David was like, oh, no, 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 no. This doesn't fit me. This sword is so heavy. I don't need this. I'm just going to trust God and go out there. And then when he killed Goliath, he didn't just go home that day. He went out and he said, the victory is the Lord's. He shared God with everyone and said, it's because of God that I could do this. Tiny little David could kill Goliath, not with a big sword, with a little slingshot, right? He said, the victory is God's. God did this. And he continued to say that throughout his life. How about Esther, girls? I know you love that story. So do I. She had to be so brave. She saved her people by stepping out and talking to the king when that wasn't always an easy thing to do, was it? She risked. She stepped out. She was brave. She trusted God and she saved her people. All right, I've got one more for you. Now, this is not quite as obvious, but what about Martha and Mary? Do you guys remember them? Sisters, Martha was in the kitchen, stirring, cooking dinner, and she was getting just a little bit bothered by Mary, wasn't she? because she was like, I'm doing all the work. Do you ever feel like that? Do you ever feel like in your family, I'm doing all the work? Sometimes when I, when I was a little girl, we would um, finish dinner and I would cook a lot. And then we'd all get ready to clean up the dinner. And well, I'm just going to tell my sister a little bit. My little sister, she would say, yeah, you guys go clean up. And we're like, what are you going to do? And she's like, I'm going to sing. <laughs> I hope, don't pull that on your sisters and brothers. But yeah, that was like a funny memory I had. But think about Martha and Mary. Martha was getting mad. She was doing all the cooking, all the cleaning, everything doing right. And Mary was just sitting. She wasn't singing like my sister. She was sitting at the feet of Jesus. And what was she doing? She was listening. All right. Do you know that that is a way to shine? That just listening to Jesus, listening to others... When was the last time you sat down and someone really listened to your thoughts? We're so busy, busy, busy. Take time to listen and that will bring out the light of Jesus in you to whoever you're listening to. Listen to your mom or dad. Listen to your siblings. Take time. Call grandma up. Just listen. Ask them some questions and listen. That will help you shine. All right, so there's a couple of ways to shine. I've given you about five different examples. I'm thinking you guys have got it, all right? So you want to read your story? Oh, before that, I want, to, I want to teach you something, all right? I'm giving you all kinds of little kids things today that were my little kids when I was a little kid or when Isabella and I was a little kid. All right, there's this little song. And I didn't, we didn't do a lot of kids music kind of things, but there was one CD that we got somewhere. Actually, I think it was a cassette tape first. And um, Bella's nodding yes to me. It was a cassette tape. And uh, the, the, the name of the guy who did it was the Donut Man. So some of your grandmas might know the Donut Man because he was old when I introduced it to my kids. But this little song, it said, Let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Matthew 5, 16. <laughs> and it, that is in my head like I learned it yesterday. And I learned it probably 23, 24 years ago with Isabella when she was little teeny tiny. You guys, put something like that in your head that helps you remember to shine. I love that that says not shine so people will see you. 
It says shine. That verse says, let your light shine before men so they can see your good deeds and what? And praise God. All right, praise your Father in heaven. It doesn't say shine so you bring attention to yourself. It says shine so you bring attention to God. I've told you guys this, but when Bella was really little, she would, you know, she would get a lot of attention. She was kind of a playful, fun little girl. And finally, you know, people say, you're so cute, or you're so pretty, or you're so smart, or whatever people say to little kids, right? And finally, I had to teach her because she would be like, okay, thank you, you know. And I just taught her to say, thank you, God made me that way. That's what we need to do always. When people give you compliments, when you do shine, make sure you turn it around and say, thank you, God gave me that gift. Just like she teaches dance, God gave her that gift. Just like David went out there, God gave me that. All right, so that's our little, that's our lesson for today. Shine to lead people to the Lord. Shine so that people will see God in you. All right, but let's go back to our Christmas story. Are you ready? Let's go back and see, let's see what character we're on. We've done Mary, we've done Joseph, we've done the angels, we've done the shepherds, we've done the wise men. You know what character we have not done yet? Are you ready? It is the star. You want to hear what the star had to say? All right, let's read it. I have to find it in my book and then I will read it for you. All right, the star says, lights, camera, action. Oh, this job brings me such satisfaction. Now children, you will know that each night I shine bright but never so bright as that cold winter night. As I made my entrance on the stage for my show, God had a plan that I didn't know. My costume that day shone brighter than most, as if the director wanted me to host a night of friends, some big, some small, waiting for them to come one, come all. So they followed my light through all that dark night, till gathered together, we bowed at the sight. And I smiled at a light brighter than mine. It was sweet baby Jesus who will forever shine. All right, you guys, shine like that star. Draw people to you so that you can show people Jesus. All right, I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you will shine so bright, shine so bright that people see Jesus in you. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great week. I'll see ya.